Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about iCloud shared library, how to set up and start using it. Apple released this feature in iOS 16.1. We saw the demo of it in the last year iPhone launch event and it is officially available right now for all iPhone, iPad and Mac users. And as you can see under settings, your profile, iCloud under photo section. Now you see this sync this iPhone toggle and below that you can see the shared library setup feature. Before turning this toggle on, you know, following the wizard of setting up and using it, it is important to know other basic requirements. The same section can be accessed under settings and photos settings section. You can see that the library tab is also there. You can set up your shared library from there too. So when you tap on it, you will be given a wizard guiding you the basic requirements and instructions. Like you can add up to five members. The creator provides the storage and one library per account is eligible. It is not like the regular shared library that we create like a folder and share it with anyone that is entirely different and here the minimum requirement of iOS 16.1 running devices can only use the sync feature so they were showing you which devices of your iPhone iPad and Apple TV are not compatible in the previous screen and here you can add participants to the shared library you can add up to five members as we mentioned before and you know all these five members will be able to access those photos make some edits changes and they can modify the contents of of the photos and videos that are available in the shared library section. Here you can see when you type a name, it will check automatically whether it is an Apple ID or the phone number is enabled with the Apple ID, iMessage or you know the other features. So once it's verified, you can add that specific number or Apple ID to give your friend or family member access to it. So here the permissions are the next section, like whether you want to give access to all your photos and videos, the entire library access will be given. So make sure you are not selecting that if you don't want to and either you can choose photos and contents by specific date or you can choose manually just you can share specific photos and videos that you want to share with them you can absolutely make this decision you know modify this decision a little bit later also so when you click on next it asks you to select the contents that you want to include in the shared library i have selected a couple of photos from my library and i have clicked on done and it shows whether you want to preview the library before sharing to avoid any accidental sharing you know this is definitely a good choice and here this is the shared library and how it will look to others and it is asking in the next screen you want to invite the person via iMessage or you want to share a link with them. So it will create a separate iCloud link and that will help you to share and join, you know, the other members to your shared library. And in the next step, it asks you whether this is one interesting feature I too liked about, like from the camera app itself, you can straight away share any contents. I'll explain that a little bit later and you can, you know, make the decision later also. Like if you enable it, you can of course disable it anytime from the camera app or from the photos settings section. So your shared library is now ready and all the shared controls are also configured perfectly. And in the photos app library section, you can see the two people st standing icon at the top right corner of each photo shows that this specific photo or video is included in the shared library. If you want to change the view, you can change it by tapping the three dots at the top right corner and you can choose whether to preview the shared library section or your personal library or all of them. The navigation is pretty simple and easy to understand and from this menu you can you know select the library view and you can further modify it. You can add new contents to the shared library or you can delete existing contents on the shared library. Coming to the camera application now after setting up the shared library at the top left corner you can see the two persons icon and when you tap on it you will see the message in the yellow banner shared library is active. Which, whichever photo or video that you shoot right now will be automatically moved to the iCloud shared library section as you can see here and this photo or video will be immediately available to the people who have access to this shared library so that they can further edit or you know they can make changes and you can make changes and edit and further the photo will be more call in a collaborative environment that will make the sharing a lot easier. A while ago I did a video about iCloud drive folder sharing and you know if that 
there is any problem with your iCloud storage being grayed out, how to fix such problems. I'll leave a link to that in the description and you can check those videos if you want to or you can search our channel with one word to find videos faster. And when you open settings app, navigate to photos settings, you can access all the permissions that you have already set for the shared library and you can, you know, enable, you can add participants or you can disable uh, the toggle off with any permissions that you have already given. So I hope the explanation about iCloud shared photo library feature helped you to understand and start using it. If you find this video useful, don't forget to share it with your friends. And for more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.